Hey, what's up guys? I'm doing a quick update video on the merchant operation. Uh, there's a few things I want to talk about. A lot of people were interested in what I was doing with this. They wanted updates. So here's another update. Um, so we're selling over 400 books a day now. And, you know, we have uh, maybe six employees or so total you know we have multiple listing stations we have library cards shelving you know all all the same stuff that you guys have seen before um we still aren't really sure what to do with these cds and dvds right now we just don't have the time to list them even though i am able to sell them on amazon i just don't have the time i did put up a video before saying anyone that was willing to do it uh I didn't find anyone that had the amount of time that would be needed to take on an operation like that. So I'll make the request one more time here. Anybody near the Hartford, Connecticut area that can put in the time, if you want to come to this warehouse, uh, I would say it's going to have to be at least 20 hours a week. And you want to help me with these CDs, DVDs, video games too. I, have, I had a box full of Nintendo 64 games. 3DS games, N64 controller. I mean, I had stuff like that. I have a Sega CD game uh, sitting over here. I have box sets, right? I have box sets. Some of them are new, unopened. Everything is unscanned, okay? This stuff is just stacking up. It's just money sitting here. I just don't have the time right now. So I'll make the request one more time. If anyone wants to do this, we will split the profit on these items, okay? We'll split it down the middle. The way we'll do that is we'll put a specific skew on any items that you list, and when everything sells, we'll do an orders report, sort that report by those skews, and you'll be paid bi-weekly half of any of the profits of what you list. Now, with that said, there's another thing that um, is a potential with this business right now. We have more books than we can process. So these are just some of the Gaylords we have right now. So we're in the process of hiring some temps to get through all this. But look at this room. It goes all the way back, right? More over here. Okay, this is basically one week. That's one week. We have more books, good books, profitable books, than we can process right now. Because when you run an operation like this, there's a lot of upfront expenses. It costs money to run an op like this with a warehouse, with electricity, the cost of pallets. You constantly need pallets. And when you aren't getting through these pallets of books fast enough, what happens is you need more supplies because you're not getting the Gaylords and the pallets back. Because once you finish processing it, you get your stuff back. But so what happens is then you need to go get more. So we're trying to get caught up here. So here's the deal. We're selling 400 books a day right now. That's the equivalent of about, I mean, I have to double check, but maybe 50 to 60,000 in sales a month. Okay, we have the capability or the volume to do a thousand books a day. If we were all caught up, had the employees, had everything we needed. That's 30,000 of profit a month after paying everybody. 30 is the low end. It could be more like 40,000, right? So in 12 months, that's a profit, net profit for the business of $500,000. These are the actual numbers. We are not desperate. We don't need an investor because we can continue the way we are going and grow slowly. With that said, when you grow slowly, you lose a lot of potential business. And that's our problem. We have the reverse problem. The problem is not getting the books. The problem is keeping up 
with the books that we're getting in and the people that actually want to work with us. Okay, we have a great salesperson. You know, we have people that want to work with us. They come to us, right? But um, right now, it's just that situation where every time more books come in, okay, I have to go buy more shelving. That shelving isn't cheap. You have to hire employees, you have to get them trained. So there's these upfront expenses, right? That's just kind of the situation. So if you are someone that, for whatever reason, you like this business, you like the idea of this business, maybe you have followed me for some time, seen the progression, maybe you know what kind of guy I am, Maybe you like me, maybe you don't like me, right? But maybe you see the profit potential and you wanna be involved, who knows? But if you either have the capital or are able to get a loan for that money and wanna be involved, I would be willing to go to partner up with the right person. I'll say it again, we are not desperate. We're not desperate for money. We're not desperate for investors. We're just not. We can keep going the way we're going. And next month we'll sell 450 or 500. And then by December we'll be at, you know, eight, 900 books a day or something like that. And that's fine. But I'm seeing the bigger picture here and I'm seeing 2,000 books a day. I'm seeing 3,000 books a day. I'm seeing a significant seven figure, eight figure even in the future business here. And in order to grow to that level in the amount of time that I would prefer to grow, it's gonna take upfront money that is just not available uh, for a growing business in, in the stages that we're in. So with that said, um, you know, you can contact me, Jim at jimpickens.com, send me an email, and, uh, you know, we can talk. But uh, this is not something where, like, you know, $5,000 is going to do the job. This is, you know, you need to be able to have a significant amount of money, 50K, 100K. That's, that's kind of what it's going to take to get this to the next level. In exchange for that money, you get a portion of equity. And... Uh, the amount of equity, you know, we'll discuss. So with that said, you know, I'll show you a little bit more about the op, because I know a lot of people have been uh, curious about it. So the, the reason why this business works and why it's such a good biz business is because these books, these little light paperback books are like gold, right? Books like this that are normally worthless, you know, we'll make a buck off these books. You know, we, we can actually clear a dollar off a book like this. Now, if you're selling a thousand books a day, you know, that's on the low end. That's if all you get are crap. Seriously, that's crap books. If you get the good books too, then obviously it's more than a dollar. But let's say you just have crap. That means you're clearing 30K a month, right? It's all, it's all, it's all really a numbers game. So we have two listing stations in here now. I would like to have four to five. We have 45,000 books listed, you know, across multiple aisles of shelving. I would like to have 250,000 books listed, right? Um, you know, this is where we sort, ship things out. And, uh, you know, this is the shipping room. So this is where we ship everything. You know, some of the stuff we put in here and some of the stuff we sort. But it's a little constricted in space. So, you know, that's, that's the operation. You know, that's kind of my update. That's why I'm doing this. Because of these books are so profitable when you do it the right way. We have very specific ways that we list our books. Very specific methods. Um, and I can tell you it's stuff that the majority of booksellers do not know about. Um, that's just the truth. Um, and that's why it works. Too many people know about it. It's not as profitable anymore. People drive the price down to nothing and the prices are already low. So you don't want that. 
uh, with that said, yeah, so this is kind of the update. People have been asking questions they want to see. We have everything sorted. Have you have the tags here? You know, when someone puts stuff down and puts stuff in a bay, it has to get checked, right? So there's there's QA checks here to make sure everything's where it's supposed to be. You can see we have shelving in this room now where before we didn't. We're gonna expand that all the way down, right? Fill this room. Then we'll probably be at a thousand books a day. Then we have to make some changes. Um, probably outgrow the warehouse at that point. So yeah, I mean, you guys saw the update a while ago. I mean, we were selling, we started out like a hundred books a day, 150 books a day. It's a few months later, we're at 400 to 450. So we're just gonna keep increasing business and you know either we're going to grow slow or we're going to ramp it up quickly but i'm only going to ramp it up quickly if i have the right partner it has to be the right person who's the right person someone that number one you have to have the capital number two you have to if you don't know the business you have to at least be willing to understand it somewhat and uh silent partner would be great too um so whether, you, whether you're, if you want to be involved, then you really have to kind of trust that we know what we're doing. You know, we really just need the, the capital to grow right now. And um, that's, that's it. It's a problem a lot of businesses have. They can't get the money they need to grow to where they want to be. But like I said, it's not something that we're desperate to have. It's not something that we need. But... It would be nice. So if you think you're that person, hit me up. Jim at jimpickers.com. Have a good day.